Hello guys, good morning from Japan. I want to address the short video that's been circulating around from Mike, Michael Certain. He debated David Wise and Jaron the other day and he made some wild claims and we're gonna look at that. Now before we start, I, I must tell you that I have already addressed this subject. All you have to do is watch the video called uh, Professor Dave Phony and his false claims. So Michael Certain claims the very same thing as Professor Dave. So what I did is basically edit parts of the video from Professor Dave. Let's go ahead and listen to Michael, Michael Certain. If I am in Buenos Aires, if I am in uh, Johannesburg, or if I'm in Sydney and I'm facing towards Australia, in all three cases I can see the Southern Cross. So Michael Certain makes the very same false claim that Professor Phony did, that you are in Buenos Aires and Sydney and South Africa facing in opposite directions and seeing the Southern Cross, which is completely false. I'm going to demonstrate that to you right now. So listen to a little bit more of Michael Sartain. But I cannot well, see the Southern Cross when I am in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, but you can see from Japan, from Okinawa, Japan at 26 degrees north, which would be impossible on a ball earth. You would have to cut through the ball, look through the ball, to be able to see the Southern Cross on the Global Earth model. So why is it that I can see a different, if the Earth is flat, why can I see it? And in these perspectives, I am facing in completely different directions in all three of these locations because these continents, according to the Flat Earth model, are facing in three different directions. There's a date that you can look forward to, July 22nd. This is when, if you are standing, in a certain place in South America, all over Africa, in a certain place in Australia, it's possible to see at the Southern Cross. Now, it's not just any part of this place, it's got to be in a specific part, and I'm going to show you today. Now, the first region is in Salvador, Brazil. It's located 12.97 degrees south and 38.50 degrees west. Anywhere in Africa, you don't need to point Johannesburg in this case. And for someone in Perth, Australia, at 31 degrees south and 115 degrees east, it's possible that three people in these three different regions at the same time can see the Southern Cross. So let's look at this right now. First, we're going to calculate time zones in these different places. Salvador in Brazil is three hours behind UTC time or Greenwich time. Three hours behind. Johannesburg is two hours ahead of the UTC time. Okay, Johannesburg is two hours ahead of UTC time. Very important information because we're going to put all, everything together. And the last one, Perth, which is eight hours ahead of UTC time or the Greenwich time. That region in Brazil, where Salvador is located, is the easternmost region in South America, which means closest to Africa. And the Southern Cross is above Africa. Someone in Salvador looking southeast, uh, he or she will be able to see the Southern Cross. Now it's very important that the person standing in that region looks southeast. Now let's move to the uh, next one, which is Perth. Why can you see the Southern Cross from Perth at that time of the year? Well, very simple. Perth is located in the westernmost region in Australia, which is closest to the African continent. That's why these three people in these three different locations will be able to see the Southern Cross. Let's add the Southern Cross in the sky and see again one more time. Let's, let's run this real quick. So there you have again uh, midnight in Perth, 1 a.m. in Perth. The Southern Cross is approaching Africa, 2 a.m. in Perth, 4 p.m. in Salvador, 3 a.m. in Perth, 5 p.m. in Salvador, 4 a.m. in Perth. This is 9 p.m. UTC time. Let's increment now only 40 minutes. There you have it. The Southern Cross right above Africa. Three people 
stayed in these three different parts of the flat earth can see the Southern Cross. If you keep going, it's going to be daytime in Perth. Uh, now, two people still can see, one in Africa and one in Brazil, no longer the person in Perth. Let's convert this day and night world map into a flat earth projection. 4 p.m., 5 p.m. now, UTC time, 2 p.m. in Salvador. Now, you can see now, once we convert the Mercatus projection into a flat earth map, you can see how close that region of Brazil is of Africa, no way near uh, what he had, a person in Patagonia, Argentina. So let's go on, increment another hour, 3 a.m. in Perth, 4 p.m. in Salvador, Brazil. Now 9 p.m., UTC time, let's increment now only 40 minutes, and there you have it, three people standing in this three different regions can see the Southern Cross at the same time. Here's on another angle, stars are rotating from east to west, three people in these three different regions can see the Southern Cross, specifically on this day, July 22nd, 2022. Now, if that repeats during the year, here you can see from another angle, from the top, three people standing in three different directions can see the Southern Cross. So you're telling me again, that the Southern it, uh, Cross is going to rotate by perspective in, in different places and the North Star does not. It stays over that part in the, in the Arctic Ocean, but the, the Southern Cross, it changes its perspective. It rotates around during different times of the day. Yes, not just the Southern Cross. All the stars and constellations circle around the Earth. Even an old Navy video talking about celestial navigation explains that. From Earth, it appears to move from east to west. One complete rotation every 24 hours. Over the years, astronomers have selected 57 easily identifiable stars on the celestial sphere for navigational purposes. The rest can be disregarded. In addition, Navigators have traditionally used the planets Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, the Earth's moon, and the sun. So yes, all the stars, including the sun and the moon, rotate around the Earth over a period of 24 hours. The flat Earth clearly explains better what we observe in the sky. Year after year, the stars are in the same position. As the Holy Scriptures say, when I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place. So the stars are not moving in different directions, expanding as the heliocentric model claims. So Michael Sertain, please stop spreading this misinformation because what you are claiming is not right. You don't look at different directions to see the Southern Cross. What you have to do, you got to be specifically in the cities of Perth, Salvador, in Brazil, and anywhere in Africa. Thanks, guys. I hope to see you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.